Howdy ho friends, this is Michelle and I have part two of my wax collection for you. These videos are from a challenge on YouTube from Kentucky Waxy Girl and I challenge you to do a video or multiple videos if it takes that to do your wax collection. So all of my wax melts are contained in these drawers that you normally see behind me. So we will start from left and go all the way to the right. I have Scentsy and various other vendors or retail wax for you. So let's get started. Okay, so let's get started. Apologize for the lighting, but I'll do the best I can with what I have. Uh, this is the first drawer now on the left. This is all Scentsy wax. This is four of coconut cotton. And then we have the rest of this row is spring forward. As you can see, I date, I just date these the month that I get them. Um, because sometimes you can see the date on the inside that these were poured and sometimes you can't. So I just decided to go with the date that I actually get them. And when I get new ones, I put them in the back of that section. If they don't have dates, such as these over here, those came before I started uh, dating them in June of last year. So, let's go ahead and get back to it. This is Magnolia Linen. I had that in my club while it was out of catalog during this uh, fall winter. Make a splash. Same there, had that in my club just to be sure I had it if it didn't come back. I have three Ocean. This is also in my club currently. Ice Hotel, and these, as you can see, dated on the back, beautiful blue wax, very um, icy scent. I really like it, so I use those when it's really hot outside, and that's the rest of that row as well. So next row, let's see, try to keep all this in frame. I have three of Southern Evening. One World Traveler. The rest of this row is Lavender Violet. That I have two of those in my quarterly club. And that's the rest of that row, as you can see. Here I have Perfect Gentleman. Just one of those. Vanilla Blackberry. I have this in my club. With Grace. One of those. Catching Z's Collection Shut Eye. That was in my club. I recently took that out. Pull this out just a little bit. Of one vanilla oud and one quiet grove. Back to the front, we have graduation, two of those, love story, one of those, marshmallow mint, two of those, frozen, the north calls. I have the rest of the row is that. So five of those, that's also in my quarterly club. Okay, we will shift over to the next one. Here I have a ton of Ambrosia. Um, where does, okay, here we start Pomegranate Prosecco. And then a few pink poinsettia. A few pink haze. I kind of stocked up a little bit on those last month. One cherry limeade. One go-go mango. Jet set go. One summer soleil. A midnight fig and then two my wish so what is this one two three four strawberry rose and then apple press the rest of this row is apple press so five of those that's also in my club Adjustment there. Okay, here we have 
my home. These just came in my club that you probably already saw that video from Saturday. Spiced Orange Harvest is the rest of this row. As you can tell, I really liked that scent. It's in my club. Three happy, I'm sorry, three birthday wishes. And then two happy birthday. One Maui Mist. One Sweet Plum Pastry. And this entire row, as you can see, and two in this row of Petal Pals. I had that in my Scentsy Club and finally decided just to take it out. These, over time, were getting more floral than I prefer. So, um, I figured I was stocked up plenty on that one anyway. So, now we will shift. Okay, so this, this one, as you can see, is... All licensed bars I believe this entire row okay we've got a big hero six we've got several of those all the way to here then we've got two dark side of the force two light side of the force and then two Mandalorian in the back just got those last month so those aren't very old one Marvel Nine Realms I love that one uh, NFL Gridiron Rush one I have two of the Justice League one of Love and Kisses Mini I love that one I wish I would have put it in my club but I didn't one Muppets one Looney Tunes one Mulan, Not Your Everyday Dragon, two Dumbo, and one very small piece of We're All Mad Here. I love this scent. Didn't put it in my club. Wish I did. Okay, then back to the front on this one. Another mini, but this one is the newer one that's in the catalog. Totally mini. One that's in the catalog, oh boy. Two of the last petal. Another two Dumbo. Two Friend Like Me from Aladdin, the Aladdin collection. I wish I would have put that one in my club. I did not. And three Just Keep Swimming. I wish I had that in my club. I did not put it there. So I basically... Um, use these drawers to limit how much wax I have. So before I bring more wax in, I have, you know, if I need more, want more Scentsy, then I've got to go through Scentsy that's allowed, the drawers that are allowed for Scentsy. And this is my Kringle drawer. So when I order more Kringle, I better be going through or have used up enough to make room for the new stuff. So that's the way I kind of limit myself on how much I buy and how much I have. So, here we have a partial far, far away from Kringle, a partial gray from Kringle, a partial tinsel time. This one's full November. Clearwater Creek. First Fallen Snow. Fresh Aspen Snow. Eucalyptus Mint. I need to scoot this back, don't I? Sorry. Um, and you can see I have some. They're Daylights. These are four and a half. One and a half ounces. Um, this is Christmas Stroll. Sorry, it's not. There we go. And Christmas. I have an old Saint Nick. Autumn Amber. And then back to the six pack wax melt or six cube wax melts. Twilight Tonka. 
have two baby it's cold outside this is a really good vanilla winter scent stardust winter's nap I like the Kringle and Country Candle Wax Melts because they're soft, like the Scentsy ones, um, so they're easy to take out without having to use cotton balls. I just let it mostly solidify to where it's still just a little pliable and, you know, put a fingernail or even the corner of the wax or the clamshell in to kind of loosen it up and then you can just peel it up out of it so I like the softer wax this is watercolors Macintosh apple and you can see another Macintosh apple Hollywood holiday pop jingle all the way Con cognac and leather cognac you want to say it all right one more this is my super tarts um the only reason these are labeled like this with just the circle is because these are from a wax wednesday she does that once a year it's kind of that company's version of black friday i think they decided now to do it like a month ahead of time um, so it might be in October now. Anyway, uh, either way, I had these are from. I did not order in 21, so these must be from 2020's um, Wax Wednesday, which it took them several months to get them to us. So I did probably get them around March of 21. Anywho, okay. So I have Jaws. You'll see a bunch of Jaws. I really like that. It's a very good, fresh, clean scent then I have swan um, it's a little bit fruitier scent I believe the rest of those are swan immortal child um, her wax she's in the process of changing the names of her wax but a lot of them were previously named after like movie characters book characters or you know just general references to um, two other movies. So anyway, Immortal Child, I believe that's a reference to the Twilight Immortal Child. Bella's Blood. It's kind of a fruity scent. I think the rest of these are Bella's Blood. Spruce Willis. This is, I think, oh, sorry. This is, um, I better redo that. And here we have Spruce Willis. This is like a, I think, sugar cookie and spruce tree, maybe. Uh, Winter Soldier, that's kind of a fresh, bright, like eucalyptus, I think. Emmet, this is strawberry juice and pine. And you would not believe how good that smells. Um, for some reason, though, this scent in these clams has a weird smell to it. I've always gotten a weird smell um, from the clams, but usually when I took the wax out and melted it, it was fine. But for some reason, these from that Wax Wednesday just still have a weird uh, smell to them. So, I don't know. I think the rest of that row is Emmet. Yes. And then we go to Chomper, which is um, a Jaws mix with, I think, Red Apple, maybe? Um, something like that. Then, Bloody Face. Uh, this is an orange with, like, campfire or orange with, like, a burnt marshmallow. It's really good. Love that one. And I think the rest of that row, yep, is Bloody Face. Here we have some more Super Tarts. This row is from the Wax Wednesday. This row is before that Wax Wednesday. I believe that Wax Wednesday was the last time I purchased anything. Um, so that kind of tells you how old some of these are. We've got a couple uh, tester little samples of Dumbledore and Mac Daddy. These, they call them blending donuts. It's just like a single scent note in the donut. So if you, you know, want to add rain to, you know, 
Punisher. You can add a chunk of this to it. I have three of those. I love rain, her rain scent. And then I have a pink chiffon cookie, which is the same concept. Here is Chrissy's Remains, which is also part of the Jaws um, spinoff, basically. So Jaws is sea salt, ozone, seagrass, plum, and pear. And then the Chrissy's Remains adds the spun sugar to that. Several of those. Lost Boy, this is really good. Pomegranate, apple cider, toasted marshmallow. I really just get the pomegranate and that toasted marshmallow. Really like this one. Wink Wish. Um, I don't know that I've actually tried that. And that's obviously in the wrong spot. So I've got another Lost Boys. A Tin Man. Zombie Brains. So the downside of the Wax Wednesday labels was that she didn't put the scent notes on them like she does normally. So instead, she sent this little pamphlet. No! Oh, man, I'm bad about that. So instead, she sent this little pamphlet, um, you know, with all the notes, and I just went through and highlighted the ones that I got. So anyway, for the most part, I know what, know what they are because they're some of my favorite scents. These mainly are newer ones. Uh, Punisher that I haven't smelled before. First, Fifty First Dates, Emily, Moody, One Tree Hill, Yippie Kaye, another Yippie Kaye, Winds in the East, another Winds in the East, some more Lost Boys in the different packaging. So that's the same one that this is. It's just the Wax Wednesday label. Okay. More. Just ignore what's in the um, <laughs> cubes below these. Okay, so this is my Scentsy, like fall winter scents. So some of these may be in my club. I'll tell you which ones as we go. Polar Bear Hug. That's what used to be called Eskimo Kiss. I think I just got one to have just in case. A Mighty Pine. That was one of the Christmas collections. A Dance of Autumn. I really, really wish they would bring this uh, Frozen 2 Wax collection out again. There were several good scents that I did not really try until after it wasn't available, and then I couldn't put it in my club. So, anywho. Okay, just one bite. I have two of those. I usually don't like apple cinnamon scents, but this has molasses, which gives it that really dark molasses scent, so I, I, I just like that one. Autumn Road Trip, I have two of those. For some reason, the ones this year kind of ended up smelling a little strange to me after the first day. And then I have a couple Evergreen and Grapefruit. I had this in my club, but I actually recently took it out, just trying to cut back. Here we have Be Merry, probably another Be Merry, Be Merry, Halloween Town, Halloween Town. Haunted Mansion. This is the only one I ever got of that. I haven't melted it. Don't know if I ever will. Casting Spells. I kind of liked that one. That was in our most recent Bring Back My Bar. Spiced Ember Glow. That was in this a new one in this past uh, Fall Winter Catalog. Bayberry and Current. Uh, Nightbearer Before Christmas. Jack's Obsession. And dark and devious on the, in the villains collection. Come on, there we go. Here we have Arctic Kiss, two Arctic Kiss, an Apple Butter Frosting, two Best in Snow, Eucalyptus Wreath is probably the rest of this row. Yep, Eucalyptus Wreath, all those. Okay, under that, we have a few Goose Creek and several um, K-scented melts. Pure White Sands. They may not even have these anymore. I don't, I've had them since, I don't know, maybe a year. Ocean Breeze. White Coral. Wild Berry and Waffles. 
strawberry angel food cake. And that's all I have left in Goose Creek. I won't be buying any more of those. And here, K scented melts. I probably don't even have to pick these up. You can see them as they are. Uh, two of the small ivory. I don't think she does that size anymore. She may not even do this format anymore. I want to say last time I looked, she only did like the clamshells with six cubes. Anyway, uh, we have clothespins, white linen, fluffy towels, raindrops, teakwood and coconut, boardwalk, marshmallow clouds, American cream, and bourbon, strawberry, and vanilla. I don't know, can you see that one? There we go. And then on the left, ivory, a lavender tassy, black chamomile, blue fluffy pillows, and, oh, last is blue fluffy pillows, too. All right. So now, this is kind of just some random ones. Uh, the right side, all these are Sonoma, so these came from Kohl's. Clementine and Berries, and then the rest of these are Fall in Love. I really like that scent. Their wax is very, very messy, though. It's soft, but it's not just like a scentsy soft. It's just messy. So I probably won't be buying any more of that once I'm done. And over here, this is uh, DD. This is Darcy and David brand from Hobby Lobby. Um, music, oud, and bergamot. Really good. It's got like a leather and oud wood to it. I don't really like the con the their wax either. When it melts, sometimes it's almost like a gel in the in the warmers. So I don't buy a whole lot of that anymore. And then we have a few Better Homes and Gardens um, from Walmart Birchwood Bonfire. This is almost a col real cologne type scent, but it's got that uh, burnt you know wood anyway really like that one. I bought a whole sleeve of those probably two years ago and I still have some so it tells you how much I use it though. Then last this is my Yankee. I have one vanilla cupcake, two catching rays, and then three clams of cranberry chutney. I have these milk cups. Farm stand festival. I have four of those. I I think those came out in maybe 2019. Anyway, maybe 2020, but I think it was 2019. And I love it. So when I happened to see some on clearance at one of the Yankee um, stores, I bought those. Then we have dried oak and lavender, snow dusted bayberry, mistletoe. And then Haunted Hayride. This is a really unique scent. It's like a purple wax. I, I can smell it just opening it up. Anyway, it's really unique, so I kind of want to hang on to that. But anyway, so, okay, that's all of the wax melts um, in clamshell type forms. I do have bricks and some BAM bags from Super Tarts to show you, so let me get the camera adjusted first so I'm not shaking you it around. Okay, so we just went through these drawers. Now we're going to go through the two doors down at the bottom. Let's zoom in. And okay, so here's the door to the right. And I have two bags. These are called BAM bags of Jaws. I have two BAM bags of Get Out of the Water. That's a Jaws with um, Mac Apple, I believe. I have a Mallow Dramatic. Laundry Bites. That's like um, laundry with pomegranate. Really good. Emmet. This is the one I, with pine and strawberry juice. Really like that one. And then this one is orange is the new black. 
Obviously, I have the bigger band bags because I really like those scents. So now we'll go over to the Scentsy Bricks. So here is the left door. And let's zoom in a little bit. Okay, so as you can see, many of my bricks have been chopped up. I do that because it's easier for me to use the wax this way and I'll go through it faster. This is Crimson Berry Christmas, Red Pear and Pomegranate, Indigo Berries, Luna. You see that's changing colors. Was already doing that when I chopped it up though. Skinny Dippin'. Here I have vanilla bean buttercream and black raspberry vanilla. And then the two that I have not chopped yet are Squeeze the Day and Pink Poinsettia, which I will be doing soon. All right, so that, friends, is my wax, collect wax collection. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you would like to see videos when, um, when I post them. Thank you for watching, and I will catch you in my next video. Bye-bye.